and there's schools of thought on this as to whether all the data in the table needs to also have a narrative describing the table. Exactly. And so what are your views in that regard as to how much narrative should overlap what the data actually shows or should it just be referenced to the table and the reader needs to make the data extrapolations themselves? Again, probably a balancing act of trying to uh, find uh, enough there that one can interpret it to make sure you can interpret it without going on and on where you're saying, oh, we don't need the table anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just told us everything. Because sometimes tables show nice patterns beyond even what you've talked about uh, or what you've you as an author have thought about and talking about that a reader could see, which is kind of neat too. Um, uh, these days we have the benefit too uh, with electronic publication that we can often have uh, backups or have more data available for those that are more interested. We didn't have that luxury years ago. Uh, and in, so you have supplemental uh, information right. that can be submitted as that's well. That's right, supplementary information. And, and more and more journals are getting to the point where they'll, they'll accept that because they realize it doesn't really, it, yes, it has some costs in terms of getting it uh, in the system and making sure that, it, uh, that there aren't any errors introduced from what the author submitted um, and that sort of thing. But other than that, there isn't the cost of paper, there isn't the cost of... Okay.